people of the motherland have come, and it's good that I am Superman of Doom Chapter 18. There were Meng Tifa, Pan Hu, and the school teacher, and even the class leader Yang Wei sent a text message of concern and greeting. Yi Meng replied to all the social text messages one by one, saying that he was fine, sitting on the sofa in the living room, closing his eyes and recounting all the encounters today. First, I learned the truth behind the scenes of the current real world. I am afraid that since 200 years ago, this world has been successively invaded by special existences in various sci-fi, magical, horror and other film and television works in previous lives and the invasion comes, all villains exist. Among them, including but not limited to the motherland, dragon women. As a result, the world ushered in global unity, a technological explosion, and the federal organizations of the supernatural sector were derived. In Yemen's opinion, the so-called supernatural department that suppresses invasion and monitors containment is no different from SHIELD in the Marvel Universe. Both belong to the model of having more than enough and insufficient strength, and are also corroded by the external invasion existence that is also hit. Now it is just a stronger external invasion, a rejection of a weaker external invasion, and sooner or later an unbalanced collapse will usher in. Less optimistic than previously suspected. Yi Meng rubbed his slightly hot temples, originally thinking that the supernatural department could at least be trusted. But he did not expect that even the leaders of the department organization were people from the motherland. Yi Meng originally wanted to make some benefits in the dream casually, and the idea of becoming a rich man lying flat in reality was also shattered. He didn't want to be killed by some familiar and unfamiliar film and television invasion creation one day in the future. I need to be stronger. At least, strong enough to surpass the people of the motherland, right? Yi Meng opened his eyes, and an imperceptible virtual silver light flashed in his eyes. Today, it is not for nothing. In addition to learning the cruel truth of the real world, his artificial intelligence characteristics have also broken through a stage bottleneck. And the brain consciousness can not only be clearly divided like computer storage, but also establish and maintain with nearby electronic products. Yi Meng has already tried. At present, the distance between this establishment and maintenance is 10 meters, and Yi Meng can establish a connection with electronic products within 10 meters of the body, monitoring probes, mobile phones, computer hosts, projectors, wireless headphones, etc., to turn them on or off, and even obtain intelligence information from their functions. Somewhat similar to a system intrusion. Of course, real artificial intelligence can borrow satellites and base stations to carry out ultra long distance shuttle invasion, and can read and tamper with program information at will and completely control electronic products as a doppelganger, as long as the technology in the world does not restore the ancient period, it is impossible to be killed. One thousandth, Yi Meng muttered, he felt that his current state of characteristics was equivalent to one thousandth of a real super artificial intelligence. Don't look at it as only one thousandth, this is equivalent to initially possessing special abilities beyond ordinary humans. And it also allows him to successfully deceive the containment inspection of the guardian goddess dragon girl in the eastern jurisdiction. This is all thanks to the authority that Iron Man driver Harpy Hogan has on hand in the Dream Marvel world. The feedback on features obtained from the Dream world today is not at all on the same order of magnitude as before. Yiming's thinking became clear. Previously, he mistakenly thought that the feedback of dreams and reality was related to the scope of his exploration of the Dream world. Now it seems that it is not the scope of Dream exploration, but his control over the Dream world area. And there is. In the dream world, the stronger the existence and better the state of my dream avatar, the more characteristic abilities I have acquired in reality. Yi Meng whispered. He already had a premonition in his heart. When in Marvel's dreamland, the avatar of artificial intelligence gets rid of the Stark family and truly gains freedom to become an independent artificial intelligence. In reality, the characteristics of artificial intelligence will once again usher in a class transformation. Dot dot dot. Yi Meng took a shower, changed into a set of short-sleeved pajamas, and lay down on the bed. The events of the real world make him desperate to gain more power in his dreams in order to gain the ability to protect himself. The lights went out and the room was shrouded in a silent darkness. Yi Meng's body, mind and spirit are extremely tired today, so he soon reached the ignorant state of dreaming. At the last moment of dreaming, a thought suddenly popped up in Yi Meng's mind for no reason. Various villains and creation invasions of the film and television world in the past life corrupt the real world. That special dream like him is not so much invaded by the outside world, but more like he is the party that invaded. If you are the party of the invasion, is the world in the dream really just a false dream? Yiming's consciousness was confused, and without waiting to continue thinking, his consciousness had been dragged to one place. He fell asleep. Dot dot dot. Falling, falling, falling. Consciousness surfaced, and the eyes suddenly opened up. Yimon has become a virtual artificial intelligence, residing in the built-in network of private factories. The monitoring probe became his eyes, the radio became his ears, the room air conditioning allowed him to perceive the outside world, and the computer host was his temporary brain shell. In private factories, he is everywhere. Dream world time, suspended at the moment when he broke away from the dream during the day, now flows again. 
At this time, the interior of a private factory that was created as a high-end special effects shooting location. The urban elite man dressed as a stuntman with shiny hair was showing a look of horror, Ultron. As a former Stark Industries employee, Quentin Baker naturally knew what the name, Ultron, represented. That represents the highest level of technological creation in the Earth world, Iron Man Tony Stark in order to defend the world's ultimate artificial intelligence. After devouring artificial intelligence Jarvis, Ultron became the strongest artificial intelligence on Earth. It tried to destroy the Earth and almost succeeded. But, but, the artificial intelligence Ultron should have been wiped out by the Avengers in Sokovia City many years ago. Quentin Baker quickly calmed down and looked around. How do you prove that you're Ultron? I'm here. Isn't that proof? The mechanical cold voice continued to sound, with a hint of human banter. I'm not so easy to die. Quentin was silent. Truly. The level of protection of the network system here was set by the former Stark engineer's accomplices, and even if S-H-I-E-L-D organized him, he did not think that he could break through. The only thing that can easily break into the network system here without triggering the protection alarm is artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence with independent thinking and highly anthropomorphic intelligence, who else is there besides Ultron? Yi Meng did not continue to speak. Mysterio Quentin Baker is a smart person, and because he is a smart person with many tricks, his brain supplement is getting more and more powerful. What are you trying to do? Why are you looking for me? Quentin clenched his fists and gritted his teeth at the computer on one side and asked. All the computers and focus lights on the scene came on, and the relentless sound of machinery sounded from every audio built into the private factory. I want to take revenge on Stark Industries and completely destroy the Avengers. What? Mysterio Quentin Baker was flabbergasted. 0022 compete with Mysterio for the actor. Take revenge on Stark Industries and destroy the Avengers. Quentin Baker's face is constantly changing. If this paragraph is spread outside, it is enough to cause a sensation in the world. Quentin Baker took a deep breath and said in a deep voice, Aren't you afraid that I will go to the members of the Avengers now and tell them that you are not dead yet? Quote. The machine's icy voice came from all directions, and continued to joke, You won't do that. In this moment. Quentin Baker had the feeling that he was thoroughly seen. Go tell the Avengers. He really wouldn't do that. Not to mention, once you go to the Avengers or Stark Industries to feedback, your next plan to market your persona to become a much-anticipated superhero will be scrapped. In fact, deep down, Quentin Baker also wants to take revenge on Stark Industries. He has always believed that it was Iron Man Tony Stark who snatched his contribution and shine on super virtual imaging technology. As for the Avengers, Quentin Baker does want to join as a superhero, but if all the other Avengers die, won't the Avengers be owned by him? Therefore, what Yi Meng just said is exactly what Quentin Baker is hiding in his heart. Under such circumstances, how could he reveal the news that Ultron was still alive in advance? The icy voice of Ultron machinery continued to reach his ears, of course. If you dare to leak it, I will kill you in advance. Quote. When Quentin Baker heard this, his heart was relieved, his eyes pretended to be angry, and his face turned livid. You. Okay. Quentin Baker obviously struggled in his heart, then sighed bitterly, and smiled bitterly. What do you want me to do? What day of the week is today? Ultron said for no reason. What day of the week? Quentin Baker was stunned and subconsciously replied, Thursday. Quote. Aren't you plotting that Stark Industrial License under Peter Parker's name? Ultron said. I need your assistance after getting that permission. Quote. Quentin Baker was shocked to realize in his heart that the other party even knew the plan of his upcoming action. First chapter previous chapter 18 140th next chapter epilogue table of contents.